Hi everyone. Um, I have uh, uploaded my YouTube video on one of the Genesis song thing composed by Steve Hackett and Phil Collins. Uh, it's beautiful songs that I'm sure most of you know is Blood on the Rooftops from the Wind and Withering album. For those who play guitar, I think it's a, it's a dream to play this song. I myself. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful acoustic piece of Steve Hackett that I'm sure, you know, all of us gonna miss him once he left the, the, the band. Uh, of course, again, you know, we all, you know, who play guitar would love to play this song and sing, you know, the whole song, not just the, the piece of it. So, anyway, I, I posted this about one and a half years ago in my YouTube channel, but uh, today I would like to uh, do my best to give a tutorial to share what what I picked up from you know I just you know find myself again it's not perfect uh, as always you would be the judge if you find if you find something more correct please let me know but this is what what I can I can get and, and uh, share with you okay so it's play you know play an E so the, the the intro as you know the you know, stiff part you know so this is hope you can see my left and right finger so start from here so this is third string so from one to one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so here okay Pam, so third string and move to the seven and you pick the bass or a bass on the sixth string okay so the, the melody pam 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 okay now you combine with, with, with the bass okay so the bass is pam okay it's a beautiful uh, uh, stiff piece again okay? again pam nine nine fret Drop to the seven with with the bass on the, on the fifth fret. You play A basically, and then the melody. So when you move up, you put the seventh fret on the sixth string for the bass, and then back to nine, and then pick up this one. This is sixth string. I mean the the seventh uh, second string on the tenth fret. Okay, but the bass is the the C sharp. Okay, so let me repeat again. Okay, and then the A, loose A. So ten, nine, seven. And then you can play this, or you can play this. Same thing, okay. I think Steve played this this position. It's more more rich, I guess, if you play this than this. It's about the same, okay. <clears throat> again, let me repeat again. So so you, you play here. Either you play the ninth or all the, the the last three strings with the A at the base. Right, or you play what is this 12, 11, 12. So the second, the third, fourth again, still with the bass on the, the fifth string. Okay, so let me repeat again. And then you drop to here. This is G sharp. This is. Fifth, fifth fret on the second string. I don't know what chord is this. It's almost like uh, uh, okay. I don't want to mention the chord, but just just follow me. I think this is this is E with the G G sharp. But you play yeah, the bass uh, bass the sixth string, second, fourth, third. Yeah. So this is your position. See the second. 2nd fret, 4th fret on the 3rd string, 
and then and then the fifth fret on the second string. Okay, you play on the second, third, fourth, and the sixth. And the, the arpeggio is so six, second, fourth, third. Okay, and then you repeat. And then okay, you pick up the the F sharp and with the A at, at the first and the. Uh, the bass is the F sharp on the sixth string, uh, sixth string, and then you you pick the the melody. Yeah, pam 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 pam. Okay, okay, okay. And then you move to the, the fourth uh, fret okay. on the sixth and the, the uh, fifth fret on on the second, and then you pick this one. D on the on the third string, and then you so you from here you drop with the F and the the, the, the G sharp. Okay, and then the, this is not, the next melody is the, the C sharp. Okay, so let me repeat again. Okay, sorry. And then you come to here. This is a little bit awkward, but but this is basically what is that? This is D D minor. Basically, just 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 take this one. This one, yeah. So sixth, I mean fifth. Uh, the first string on the fifth. The seven on the second string and the sixth fret on, on the third, third uh, string. But then you, you combine. This is the bass F sharp. Okay, so, so your your finger position like this, and then okay. So um, okay. So you have to. This is again a bit advanced skill. If you play the, the, the melody, but the stiff of course you know the uh, with with, with uh, you know the just tapping, and then you 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 let loose the, and then you become pick up the 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 D on 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 the bass, okay. So let let me repeat again. Come to here, yeah. We just is let this is uh, you know leave your 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 first finger. Okay, thumb. Your, your 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 harmonic, the second string on the what is this position basically, right? So this is 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Okay, the harmonic. Okay, let me let me repeat again. Okay. First string on the on the on the thirteenth fret or the, the end of your neck, and then back to here. Okay, so yeah, back to the to the same one, except the second one you. One you, you come to here, right? But the, the second one, you 
drop your bass to the G. And then F sharp, the second fret. And then this is two, 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 two string, uh, two finger, right? This, this position. So, basically you play like that. So the, this is the third, third fret, you know, for the third string and the first string, okay? But the bass is, is, is F sharp. Yeah, so this is the, the melody. But you add the, the bass. So this is B, B, uh, uh, B7. Okay? Yeah. So B, uh, B, C, B. Okay? Okay, the, the bass is dropped from, from E, e sharp, uh, or D, D sharp, and then drop to A. Same thing. Except you just drop the bass from, from D sharp to A. To A yeah? And then come to here. So you just play the bass, sixth string, and the second and the fourth. The second is on the eighth and uh, the fourth on the ninth. So you just listen the, to the song and you can, you can pick up the, the melody. So this is, again, this position, and move here. So basically, okay, so that's the melody. And then you just find the combination, the right combination for your fourth string. From the beginning, I know it's quite complicated, but uh, just bear with me. It's, 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 it's very beautiful over here. So, let's start again from the beginning. Part. So this is the position, okay? Okay, the arpeggio is the second, third, first. Okay, second, third, first, second, uh, twice, yeah? Then the, the bass change change to C. First, first the E, and then you change to C. So that's why you that's why my position of a finger like this because then you, you can you can catch the C, right? So 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 the same pa same pattern. So that's just the, the the last three strings, right? And you just you just add the bass. Fourth string, and then come to here. This is B, 
on the seven, uh, seventh fret, and then you come to twelve. So the melody is okay. Uh, listen to the song, you know, more frequent, and then you can pick up the the, the rhythm. So let's go twelve, seven. So the third and then the the second, right? So E B G F sharp. Okay. Okay. And then the loose string, and come to uh, fifth uh, fret. Okay. This position. So just just this two, and let the the third string loose. Okay. And the bass is A, the fifth string, uh, fifth string, yeah. Again, it may not be perfect, you know. If if you know better, you know, let me know. But this is what what I, I picked up, you know, by by my ear. I'm sure Steve, I think, play different technique than than mine, but I just picked up the the the, the sound, okay, the the notes, okay. Again, okay. So, so that's the melody, and then you 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 play the arpeggio, and then with the bass. Okay, so that's how how you you learn, yeah. Pick up the melody first, then an arpeggio, and then the bass. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So that's the <laughs> intro. Of Steve, okay, and now you enter to the song, all right? Let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay, I'm still recording, all right? So that's the intro, and uh, I can repeat again if you you don't get it, but okay, and then start the song. So um, this chord, yeah, I don't even know what for the name of this chord. I just pick it up. Okay, you look up the the, the chord the table. So this is the the G. Okay, so this is basically the, the six strings and, and the first and thumb. Okay, dark and gray, and it was found out of me. So, okay, dark and gray, <clears throat> and then you pick this one. Okay, so the rhythm you have to find, you have to listen to the song more often. I cannot explain how I pick up the beat, okay? I just keep listening and then finally I, I, I'm kind of get it, you know, so to the best of my, my, my ability, of course. Not perfect. Dark and gray, and he was filmed on lay gray. So, okay. Dark and gray, of course, it feels a you know, beautiful voice. Dark and gray, in the English film, when I play. Okay? Okay, so that's, that's the, the, the movement of the chord that Steve comes, you know, geniusly, okay? Very beautifully, very acoustic, you know, that uh, we all miss, you know, after he left again, okay, of course. Basically, D with the G, okay, with the G at the base. So that's why my, my, my finger position become like this. I need to pick up this, okay. Dark and gray, and in this film. So, so this, sorry, sorry, I forgot to explain. 
So just this is E minor. Uh, this is basically this is B. But again, I, I don't know. This is this E. I think E minor. And then you take B. B. It would be B. Keep keep the, the two finger like that. B A. So this is this is basically C with the D D at the base. Okay, so that's that's the the the, the progression of, of of the chord. So this is D again, D with the G at the base. So this is E, e major, easy. So this is B with the, with the F sharp at the base. Okay, again my my arpeggio the last three string string in the base. This is E basically. I just take this position because that's how I think how the Steve progress the the chord. The Queen on Christmas Day. So this is A major seven I guess. So this is yeah. So this is uh, fourth. Fourth fret, fifth, and then uh, uh, six. Okay, so with, with the A. Okay, at the A, at the base. Okay. Always watch the queen in the E, e, e major again. In on Christmas day. So this is D major seven. So just basically. So D major seven, and then you you change the position to pick up the, the melody. The melody drop from F sharp to E. Okay. Again, this is D with the G G at the base. Okay. okay? So let me repeat. You always watch the Queen on Christmas Day. Won't you stay? And then again the, the, the bridging uh, chord come like so, so this is again D major 7 so the last three string and then you repeat the third and the second so this is I don't even know what it is okay <laughs> I just pick it up it might be may not be perfect but this is what, what I picked up okay? Okay, so this is it could be D major seven. E, so F F F major seven, yeah. And then E major seven. So this is uh, what is this? This is uh, E E flat or D sharp. D sharp major D sharp major major. Okay. So that's the, the, the kind of the, the bridging chord that Steve came up, okay? And then so it come to C. Uh, this is... Oh, I, I don't know what to explain. This is this, but I just pick this up. Okay, a loose string on the third and third third uh, fret on the second, and then uh, second fret on the, on the first, and you play the C at the base. Okay, so that's that's the the the, the chord on the, the last three string, except you add the, the C at the base. So the arpeggio. So first, third, second, first. First, second, third. So okay. First, third, second, third, and then first you know, you change the melody. Okay. Back to the to the same again, okay? Go on your right, 
The, the, the same one as, as the first one, right? And then of course you come to here. The beautiful, beautiful, you know, uh, feeling by by Steve again, right? With a very acoustic touch. Here. This is the the ninth, I believe. Yeah, the ninth, the last strings, okay. So that's the arpeggio. This is a uh, fifth string. So you drop here. So from here, drop here. So basically, eighth uh, fret for the first and second, and keep the uh, the third string on on the nine. Okay, from here. Step. So basically, it becomes seven, seven, eight. Okay. The bass still is the A. Okay. And then come the melody. So. So that's uh, the melody, right? This is uh, the sixth string, okay? And then repeat again. Okay? Beautiful feeling by, by Steve. Again, and then, uh, of course, the fills comes again. Let's keep the news, boy. Okay, so the E minor. So this is B minor, but B minor with a D on, 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 on the bass, okay? So just... Let's keep the bass going. So D at the bass and then you pick up B at the bass. Let's keep the bass going. And then A, I just play here position, you can play here. I just, I, I think this one is more, more, more correct. Because you need to pick up this 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 uh, note, okay? So this is G, and then you just drop F sharp. To, to the F sharp. They got me confused, boy. Put me on the swing. So come G again. And the thing. So this is F sharp minor. F sharp minor seven. You can play like this: F sharp full, F sharp minor full, or F sharp minor. I like F sharp minor seven. Minor, um, F sharp minor seven. So this is G G sharp minor seven. Staying up late. So F sharp minor seven. Do you want some daybreak? Do you want some daybreak? E major seven. Some nation three. And then come to Steve again. So, so that's just the, the melody. And you just play with, with the, the, the arpeggio, the last string. But you change the, the bass to A from E, okay? Okay, just, just uh, the, uh, the 
genius of Steve, right? A simple one, but it's so beautiful. So the, uh, you just listen to, to the song, you can you can tell where, where when to change the, the, the bass, okay? That's the, the, the transition again, yeah? D major sub, uh, D major seven. So this is uh, again F F F, uh, F F major seven, E major seven, D uh, D sharp. position with, with the C, C uh, at the base. Thank you. 